Hey guys, it's Sugarbush here, and I am going to show you how to hack the minimap icons. Well, you know, like the character icons and stuff. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a moment. So, you need new Super Mario Bros. Editor 5. You're going to need a ROM to hack. Alright, so then you go to the ROM file browser. It should already be here. So you get a root data. This is where the file is located. 2D CAD, and then I'm going to show you these two icons right here. So first things first, we need to double click these. Make sure this is in 16 color. Make sure that's checked if it's not already. And then open up this NCG. Once you've done that, now click on add all. Now this NCG does not look good at all, does it? Well. So now what we want to do is we want to say view in 4B PBB format. And now it looks okay. Now most of these don't have the right palette. These arrows do. And I think this too. So figure out, first of all, figure out which part of this NCG you want to start with. You want to hack starting with. I'm going to do Mario's icon right here. So we want to figure out which palette that looks right in. I'm also going to do Mario's cap. But yeah, just these two. So once you get this palette, like if you're doing like Luigi or something, you'd go here. You go, yeah, just figure out what palette, which palette makes it look right. So once you have this, now we want to export this bitmap. All right, we have that. Now we're going to open up that bitmap. And then, yeah, it might take a little while. It doesn't usually take time. Anyways, we have that open. Now we want to, okay, well, first of all, we have this image opened up. Now find your custom thing. You know, like what, you find what you're going to import. Although you probably have an image for that somewhere. Alright, I'm going to do Donkey Kong. This guy right here. You might need to do a little resizing. So just check the size on this. You see 23 by 24. But I'm going to do 28 by 28. Alright, so then we, we select, copy that. And then we want to paste it in and just move it around a little bit. Actually, I'm going to... might be useful to move the selection just to where the pixel, just like that. That'll probably be pretty useful. Just try to... Okay, and then just a side. And then we just get rid of this. And we're not going to... I don't want to save that. And now once we have that, now we want to say, import this bitmap with existing palette. It must be with existing palette. It's the easiest way to do it. Now we import this. Now it might look a little bit different, but what's important is these other palettes should still look just like they did before. Yeah. And then don't forget to hit save all. I'm actually going to replace the cap as well. Okay. I think I do have it somewhere. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, I'm just going to edit this. I'm just going to get rid of this stuff, the yellow. really going to walk you through that. I don't... All right. Let's just go back to here. You could do this all in one step, but we're going to... I'm putting this in for Mario Cap. Let's actually not forget. We're going to move selection to just, just these pixels. Copy that and paste it. Let's get it about centered. And then once we do that, we want to... Remove this. 
just like that. And then that's that. Then we're going to import. Let's actually just close out of it really quick. Import with existing palette. Now you can see that DK is in there. Save all. Now let's run it in game. I'm just gonna use tab to speed things up. So now you can see it looks pretty good. Now I've hacked these guys as well. You can see this palette still changes fine. Oh, and another important one. Another important thing to check is the power meter. I removed the Mario icon power meter. Yeah. So, there you have it. That is how to hack that. The BTM icon. You can do the same thing for the CMN icon. But I showed the BTM icon because it's just easier. The CMN icon uses multiple, some several palettes. Although I will show you which ones they are, which palettes to be checking for. So we're doing 2D CAD. Well, of course you check this one. This palette right here. Then the the NCG is stored in EUR and then ENG right here. So it's root 2D CAD. E U R E N G this. And there's also this UPR icon NCL. That's also one that this uses. There's also a couple in there's C2D.NARC. 2D CAD. Root data 2D CAD. E U R. And there's also this one here. And there's also another one in the CEE.NARC. Right here. Just check all those palettes. Yeah, and just that's how you do the CMN icon. Just use what I showed you. I hope this tutorial helped you out. I'm not sure anyone else is really willing to make a tutorial, so that's why I did it. And I'll see you guys later.